What's up guys, welcome to the motoring, my name's Nez and this is Christian. Hi guys, how's it going? Big thanks to Christian for coming along today, it was a beautiful day here in England. Uh, so we thought to take the Z4s out and do a little comparison. So Christian, you've got the 35i yep. Z4. Yeah, Z4 35i, straight six, three litre, around a 310, 309 brake horse. Peaks out at 400 newton meters torque. So some pretty big figures. Nice. So my Z4, as I'm sure you know, is the 20i. So it comes with a two litre, four cylinder engine, producing 181 brake horsepower and 199 foot pounds of torque. Nought to 62 miles per hour is 6.9 seconds. And the top speed is 142 miles an hour. Yeah, that's a good point. My nought to 60, it's 5.1. 5.1 seconds or 5.2 so almost two seconds quicker yeah and i think the the 35 is the dct version of this is five or 4.9 right and what's so your top shows. speed it's just maxes out at 155, 155. it's just like it caps isn't it exactly yeah perfect so me and christian we're going to go through both cars and see what the differences are so uh let's go immediately christian i can tell your car sits a bit lower than mine yep I've got, uh, one of the first things I've, I did to this car, and I've done it to all my previous cars, is I've put lowering springs on it. Not really for the handling, but mainly more just for aesthetics. You know, I really don't like it when you've got massive arch gaps, yeah. front and rear. <laughs> so, I bought some H&R springs, a 30 mil drop, left it on the standard dampers, which I've been told is about the limit. You don't want to go any more with the springs, with it. But I mean, I get no rubbing, I get no scrapes, and I think visually it just makes the car look so much nicer. Yeah, it's, it's a bit more, more squat. Aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Well, mine, to be fair, I'm happy with my standard look, but uh, mine's got standard suspension. I haven't played with it yet. Though, Chris, I do see what Christian's saying about the wheel arch gap, but personally, I don't mind it. But that is the first main difference. Second difference, I know Christian mentioned it earlier, is the side indicators. Mine's the LCI, the Live Cycle Impulse. Uh, so mine's a 2015, Christian's a 2010. But you can tell the difference in terms of the indicators. Mine are integrated into this side design, and in Christian's Z4 35i, it's just, it's just a rather bland piece of plastic. Piece. It's I mean, plastic. It, it, it's nicely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's nicely designed, and you know, it's it's flush to the whole bodywork. Um, but the way it's kind of frosted over kind of dates it slightly, I right. think. But. Um, I mean, I, quite, I still quite like it's it. Right. Okay. It's, it's very easy to change as well. I was about to say, you, you can, can modify it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, exactly. it's the same. You've got the same indent there, so you can just buy a bit you put on top. Exactly, there's just a lug on the back, on the tail of that like, drag, if you want to call it that. There's a yeah. lug that you cut off and you can just put it straight on. Oh, brilliant. Um, another difference is... You've got an M logo as well. I've got an M logo. He hasn't got an M logo. <laughs> yeah. This adds another 100 horsepower, this, this little badge. Um, so. 20i comes with that, but his one's a slightly older one, generation, doesn't come with the M badge. Do you know, I just realised the, the headlights are slightly different. Mine's got yep. this single uh, indicator streak, and then yours has got a couple, hasn't it? It's like a layered Perspex housing or something, isn't it? Yeah. And I've got, like a, again, a frosted upper layer here. Upper layer, mine's all clear. And does yours say, mine says BMW on there, and yours is all... Mine's uh, covered up, nothing. So moving on from the headlights, immediately I can tell, Christian, you've done a bit, you've done uh, some things with your grills, haven't you? Yeah, so I noticed on the Highline Edition, I don't right. see, when I was searching for these cars online, I saw that the Highline Edition had gloss black front kidney grills, and I thought that looked really nice. So I found the part number and ordered the genuine BMW ones, fitted them, because so I think the black and black makes it look it so looks more aggressive. Meaner, yeah, doesn't it? It looks yeah. really nice. Whereas mine is sort of the T-tone, silver, and, and black sort of to match a bit of the headlights and the wheels but yeah it's, it's a per it's a matter of personal choice yeah exactly another difference is obviously the interior main thing the difference is uh, obviously uh, cosmetic differences Christian's car has got the ivory interior two-tone Alcantara and leather mine's just the pure black Kansas leather another difference if you go to the back if you follow us got on Christian's car because it's a 35i it's got the twin exhaust. Obviously, this is the bigger engine, three litre straight six engine, and you've gone for the black hot roll hoops. Yeah, because they were silver, like what you've got on yours, but nothing yeah. on this car is silver if you exclude the alloys. Uh, I just didn't think it, it just didn't look that nice with the ivory interior 
and then this random silver roller thing. So I, I just took them off. They're quite hard to break apart, but didn't break any clips, luckily. And then just spray painted them in the body colour, the sapphire black. Nice. Didn't lacquer them, because I didn't want them to be really shiny. I just wanted them to look kind of genuine and standard and stock. I like it. So, um... so in the light, you can see it's still pearlescent, but it doesn't capture all of the gloss that you'd expect right. with like a, a lacquer part. It's, uh, it's fairly... Yeah, it's aggressive. I like it. It goes well with a car, really. Black, black, and you've got the cream inside. Yeah, yeah. Another difference compared to my car, obviously, Christian's car is a manual gearbox, and you've gone for this lovely wood, whereas mine is the carbon aluminium trim. I yeah. don't know what that wood's called. Do you know what it's called? No, I don't. <laughs> just wood. It's just wood. Just high gloss, dark wood. <laughs> yeah, it's just wood. But pretty much apart from that, I've got the same. Um, tech, tech is you've got the multimedia system, yeah. uh, parking sensors, heated seats, dual zone climate control, cruise control. I love that thick steering wheel. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice to handle. Yeah, it sits well. Um, yeah, I don't mind the colour. I think maybe this one needs a bit of a clean, but I, I, I don't think it's to be fair, it looks, badly at all. Yeah, it, it looks good. It looks naturally, good. you'd be a bit hesitant to want to buy this colour leather. Yeah, but no, for me, it's. It contrasts nice with the exterior colour and it doesn't seem to be that much pain. Yeah, you've got to keep it clean. Yeah. And have you got the, yeah, you've got the auxiliary inputs as well, like me yeah. as well. And yeah. the cup holders. Yeah. Which, do you know what? That's another thing. When you're on the move going somewhere and you put your drink there, don't you find that you've got nowhere to put your, yeah. your arm? No, you've got nowhere. And then I do actually have a problem when I'm changing gear when this is up. Yeah, all oh, right, so you can't reach then I, far then back. Then I get like a clash problem with my elbow and then the <laughs> armrest. And the armrest is up. Yeah. Uh, that's one little grab I've got to be fair, so yeah, when I'm going and having a drink I can't yeah. change all. You know. I'd like if there's a bit more space in here as well, because I don't need these, I don't think anybody uses these snapping adapters. I don't know if anybody ever has, yeah. I don't know why BMW still insists on putting them in there, but uh, yeah, it takes up a lot of space. Mm. I agree on that one. Same ski load through facility, yeah. same uh, bit there for storage. I've added a stubby aerial as well. Stubby aerial, yes. Yeah. See mine's got the old 1940s aerial. Uh, Christian's put this lovely... Doesn't uh, pick out anything up. But but it, just, it, it looks, it looks so much better, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. As you can see, mine, mine's poking out of the thing. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, it looks nice. It looks nice, doesn't it? I like it. But from that, in terms of visual uh, appearances, I can't really spot much. No. Same, we've got the same body M Sport body kit. Yeah. And obviously under the bonnet, that's where the, the changes are. Mine's got yeah. the little engine, yours has got the big boy. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, everything looks exactly the same. Yeah, I think it is, I think that's it. Actually, if you want to go back to mine, have a look. See, Christian's painted these black, mine are silver over here. And like, that's the area we're talking about. His is a tiny area, mine's a long one. And obviously, the exhaust. Yeah, I, so cool. uh, I took the Z4 deletion off. Ah. So I don't have this. Ah. So yours hasn't got a Z4, so no one can know what it is. No, secret. Top secret. So again, it's going for the stealth look you're going for. Well, I, I just think it doesn't need it. These cars are so iconic. I don't think anybody needs to be reminded what these what models the are. Is, like, yeah. Everybody knows what a Z4, Z4 is. Z4 is. And cool. I think it's quite obtrusive. I like the cleaner look, you know. So um, you can see with your roll hoops, this contrasts and works really well with your interior. Right. Because you've got the silver carbon effect on your trim. Right. So it kind of like complements here. But yeah. With the like the cream and the ivory, it just didn't work. It didn't yeah. look right. So I thought it's paint the black. Go for that. It looked nicer. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Uh, boot space is completely the same. Everything's the same. Wheel size is exactly the same. Funny enough. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I can't think of anything else. Can you? No, I think that's it. If you enjoyed that video guys, big thanks to Christian for coming down. No problem, yeah. Hopefully there will be more videos with Christian in the future. He lives down the road, so more convoys soon. 
yeah. Apart from that, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Cheers, guys.